Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and um, before I start talking about my drawing, uh, I want to thank you all very, very much for all of your lovely comments I've gotten lately, um, and now that the funeral is over, I will get around to actually reading them all and answering, and, um, and yeah, um, even though I haven't read all of them, I have kind of skimmed through some, and there was another comment about the crappy audio, and I am so, so sorry. <laughs> it's not the first, and trust me, the person was being very polite about it. Everybody has been, and it's very, very nice of you guys. And I know the audio has sucked for the longest time, and I'm really sorry. I can't afford a new microphone, so as you might notice today, I'm trying something different. I am recording my audio by actually just recording a, a video with my webcam. Um, it has a better microphone than, you know, my actual microphone, so that's kind of stupid. Um, but I'm recording, and then hopefully I will, well, if you're listening to this, then I actually succeeded in recording the video and then uh, separating the audio from the video and then overlaying the audio onto my speed paint. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing here. So hopefully the audio is better if, uh, you know, Please, would you guys let me know in the comments if it's better for you or not? I, I you know, I only know what it sounds like on my computer. Um, so I would really appreciate some feedback if it's improved or if I should go back. Um, so yeah, if you guys would be so, uh, <laughs> so very, very helpful to me and do that. Um, anyways, so let's talk about the uh, drawing or painting. It's kind of a mixed media thing. So, um, <clears throat> So yeah, for this particular drawing, I or painting, I actually have like a, a story and a and a reason why I drew it. Um, and uh, the reason why is that um, the wolf is back in Denmark. Um, the wolf was hunted to extinction uh, in Denmark about 200 years ago. Um, however, now they're back and they came back all on their own. So that's really just wow. That's amazing. It's so rare that something like that happens. Uh, Without human interference, they they're here, and I am just I'm so excited about it. I am I'm really ecstatic. I just I'm a huge uh, animal and nature enthusiast, so so to me this is just wonderful. And um, uh, however, they're just everybody around me. Well, most people around me certainly do not share my uh, enthusiasm. They uh, their comments is, and I'm quoting here. The wolf does not belong in Denmark. We should shoot them all, or at the very least, chase them out of the country. Yeah, I've I've heard that from quite a number of people, and it just uh, it makes me a little angry and just incredibly sad. And it just really it's really just it really just shows exactly what's wrong with humanity at the moment. It's just. I know that people people are worried. People are worried that the wolf is going to be a huge expense to them, that it's going to uh, prey on their livestock. And I'm not stupid. I, I know that's a real possibility, and it probably will happen. And that's why we need to prepare ourselves and make better fencing and just, you know, secure our livestock. But it worries me that the first reaction people have is to just, kill the animal. It's like they won't even try to coexist. They're not even giving it a chance. They're just going straight for, you know, this this animal might be an inconvenience to us, so let's just let's just murder them all. Um and it just that's the part that really makes me incredibly sad because it's not just here, it's everywhere in the world that this is happening that people find some sort of wild animal or, you know, anything really that just bothers them and so they decide to just destroy it it can be like a a forest or like a creek that that that's bothering people and so they just you know remove it destroy it and that's apparently just the human way of dealing with something that could be inconvenient something that we may not really understand something that we're a little insecure about so we just we just <laughs> feel that apparently it's our right to just get rid of it and that to me is is horrifying and um and so i i have i i don't really like uh arguing with people i don't like uh i don't see confrontation confrontation at all i'm like Meh, i don't 
yeah, I pretty much stay to myself. But uh, for this topic, I do get into a lot of confrontations with people, into a lot of discussions. I can't help myself. I cannot, I cannot listen to people talk this way about an animal um, and not want to do something like it, it's so wrong to me that our first our first uh, thought is to just destroy and kill it. Um, it's horrible. And, oh, God, I do understand. I, I do understand farmers that are worried about their livestock. But once again, proper fencing, um, that will do a lot. We're just not used to having large predators in Denmark, so we should get used to it. At least try. I know what it's like to go out to the field and find an animal that's dead or hurt. I have tried it. It's not fun. Uh, I had a couple of pigs that were attacked by a dog. Does that mean that I want to kill all the dogs in Denmark? No, that's a crazy way of thinking. You can't think like that. It's going to end up destroying the world. And I know, yeah, this sounds a little preachy, but I hope you guys can follow my my thoughts on this. And these are just my thoughts. It's It's just something I feel I need to get out of my system. And I did it, well, I'm doing it now by talking to you guys and by painting this painting. And, um, I don't know, if in my painting, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my wolf here in the painting is crying, and it's not crying for itself, it's crying for humanity, really. Um, it's crying for, it's crying out of pity and sadness for what the human race is becoming, and, and that, it just reflects my emotions. I am really, truly sad of you know, how people around me can behave and, and just, yeah, I'm not saying I'm not perfect, far from it, but yeah, I think we, we as human beings really ought to uh, be a little bit more humble and take a little bit more responsibility perhaps for, for the things that we're doing around the world. There are a lot of people that are trying to preserve nature and preserve the animals in it. However, there are even more people that have this crazy way of thinking that you know if it bothers you kill it and yeah uh <laughs> and with that I think I'm gonna stop uh I could go on forever um but yeah these are just my thoughts uh and that's what I put into this painting I hope you guys like it I know it's kind of sad looking but it I, I really love this drawing and I I wish I could keep it, but actually this drawing is one of the drawings that is up for sale for the um, fundraiser for Dory from uh, Dory Stories as uh, surgery. So yeah, if you like this, you can go buy it or you can participate in the raffle. And if this thing is not uh, bought before the end of this, then it is actually an, a raffle prize as well. So yay. Uh, so if you like it, you can get it. Anyway, uh... Oh God, yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of time to talk. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you liked the painting very very much, and uh, uh, I will get around to answering your comments and all of that. And I will be live streaming tomorrow. Hopefully, there's not a new relative that decides to kick it in the meantime. I hope not. <laughs> um, sorry, that's I have horrible sense of humor, but anyway. Um, so maybe I'll see you tomorrow night, and if not, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.